started out with a simple frame to manufacture this. All it is is four pieces of long wood and then an H to hold it together for support. On this H, there was originally supposed to be a mounted solenoid plate. This solenoid plate was originally supposed to hold two solenoids, which would hold beaters and hit the pipes. This plate would have two solenoids, one placed here, the other placed here, and also two wooden levers, one placed here, the other placed here. These two wooden levers would be attached to their respective solenoids with string. Here's a picture of what our whole wooden plate with its components would look like. Since our wooden plate was so heavy, the inertia caused the plate to overshoot the required distance and it would not hit the required notes. This caused us to bring a radical change to the design. Motor to motor assembly as well as the solenoids, we decided that for the motors and solenoids with our new design change that we would hard mount them to these pieces of leftover metal tube with wood and in order to stop the wood from moving we decided we were going to super glue it as you can see here. And for the solenoids, we decided, well, we have extra paper clips. These can double pretty well as a spring. So we designed a spring-loaded solenoid for our non-spring-loaded solenoids. And then when we were listening to them play, we noticed a harsh metallic sound. So we decided that we were going to cap them with these plastic caps. And we were going to use the hot glue that was provided in order to mount them solidly. Now, for the motors, we realized that we needed to have some sort of lever system in order for them to hit the metal tubes and we decided that wood was a very good sound that complemented well with the plastic caps on the solenoids. So we used our wood popsicle sticks and we cut them in half, or about in half, and then we hard mounted them with super glue and uh, hot glue to the yellow gears that you see now. And then we decided to do some wire management with hot glue. Our final code was much more simple than the original code because of the six actuators hitting their own note. We used a template provided on my courses by Dr. Gomes for the pulse and motor on and motor off functions. Between each statement, there is either 500, 750, or 1,000 millisecond delay, depending on how long the note is. We have two motors, each attached with popsicle sticks, to strike the chimes. When the output is 1 and the motor on function is commanded, the note is struck. When the output is 2, the motor returns to its original position. There is a 100 millisecond delay between these functions. After all, simplicity is ingenuity.